those lights on. Get this lock off. And I am ready to roll. This is Dylan, Bike to Everything. Today I'm taking, uh, taking post here back down to Market Street. So if you search Google Maps for these bicycle directions, it'll actually take you down Steiner up here and then uh, across on like McAllister or Fulton. The problem is there's a little bit of a hill up there at the corner of Alamo Square. Uh, so I like to take post to Webster and then you have uh, no hill to climb. Mm -hmm. It'll be pretty much downhill the whole time. So I also had my uh, locking lights on my bike for a while. I uh, didn't have to take them off at all, which is super nice. So here it is. It doesn't have any like screws on the outside, which is nice. So although the bike lane on post ended back there, uh, I have one on Webster right here. And Steiner doesn't really have a bike lane at all. It's a friendly street to bike on, kind of near DeBose Park, near the Wiggle. Uh, but up here, sometimes there can be a bit of traffic. A little chilly. Put my gloves on. I find that even uh, a little bit of chill can get pretty cold when the wind is just coming right on your hands. See, I turned my front light on blinking mode just when I want to make sure I'm getting the driver's attentions, driver's attention. I find that front lights can be pretty obnoxious to people, so I don't always have it. It can be especially obnoxious to other cyclists if you're on a two-way path. Uh, I like to tell people, make sure that your uh, light is like pointing down and not in people's eyes. So here's what I don't like about Webster. Is the untimed traffic lights.
Lancaster is another street I could go on, but since I'm taking Octavia, I'm gonna go to Fulton because it doesn't connect. Uh, I forget there might be a like a pedestrian path between those two streets, but I don't remember. Um, what's nice is you can kind of see the hill start climbing after the next block, and that is why I don't take the Steiner way because you'd have to go kind of all the way up and then back down. lane and turn like a car or actually I changed my mind now I'll just uh, cross the pedestrian signal and then go along when this turns green now I don't have to deal with any oncoming traffic uh, from the other way, even though I don't think there was any. Oh, this is a beautiful ride with City Hall right there. They're always changing the colors. Okay, here's Octavia, turning right. People were trying to steal parking spots. Anyway, back to my favorite park in the neighborhood. Uh, soon this won't be a big traffic uh, haven like it is. I'm gonna sweep past these cars so I can make it through the light. There we go. Terrible, terrible intersection with everyone trying to get on the highway. And now I have, I think, the biggest hill climb of this ride. It's just this one block. Kind of side street where no
no one is driving on. Okay. Here. I just have to get over to Pearl Street over there. Um, and the best way to do that from here is just to kind of go uh, salmoning up the sidewalk or the bike lane. So, have a nice big plaza I can ride up here. Then I'm on Pearl Street. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more.